They say every game counts, but no game has higher stakes than this match that can determine whether or not these teams will advance to the postseason of the PBL All-Filipino Conference. Now, joining us live from Iloilo are the teams that are fighting to stay alive. Charity Gosmailin Paat and Petrogaz's MJ Phillips. Kanina, we had our um, panels na si Ayel who will cover the games tomorrow. This time around, some of the players, Jego, na maglalaro tomorrow in Iloilo. Welcome guys to the game. Hi, hello. All right, hello. good evening, <laughs> ladies. And uh, all the way from Iloilo, unahin ko na si Mylene, no? Of course, we know that you guys are in the running para sa semifinals. Ikaw, as the MVP from last conference, no? Paano mo minomotivate, especially ngayon, itong charity go na nasa crunch time na kayo, Mylene? Anong sinasabi mo sa kanila para makapasok kayo sa semifinals? Uh, actually, from no, uh, nung natalo kami ng Akari, kailangan, ang, lagi ko lang sinasabi sa teammates ko na kailangan namin bumangon. And yung mga darating na games namin, sobrang crucial. And kailangan namin magkaisa talaga. Uh, especially sa loob ng court na magkano, magkaroon kami ng mas malalim pa na connection and everything. And by the way, these two players on your screen, silang maglalaban tomorrow, mm. pero they're looking like their best of friends <laughs> right now. Let's talk to MJ Phillips. MJ, you're, you guys are fighting for a fourth straight PVL playoff appearance. Um, so far, how's the preparation there in Iloilo? Um, big game coming up for you guys. Um, the preparation, we're just having a lot of um, practices in between our rest times and we're just doing a lot of homework, uh, doing our homework on Mylene here, making sure that we uh, stop for tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> of course, MJ, uh, how about the mindset of the team? Yeah, um, yeah. What are you guys um, thinking about, looking at right now? The game, big game is tomorrow already. Yeah, we know it's a crucial game. Uh, we just got to take it one game at a time and we're just really focused. Um, we're just really hungry to win, so yeah. We're yeah, hungry too. No, oh, prepare. Prepare, Mylene. <laughs> <laughs> right, uh, balikan natin si Mylene, of course. Uh, you got there to Iloilo. Today, I believe, no, nakarating kayo dyan. How are the preparations? Ano ba yung una yung ginawa? Nagpahinga mo ba muna kayo or nagpractice agad kayo pagdating dyan sa Iloilo? Actually, pagdating namin dito, medyo gabi na and medyo late na. So, um, syempre, kumain, pa rin, kumain muna kami bago magpahinga. And early in the morning, kailangan talaga namin na ano, kumain ulit. <laughs> and then after that, nag-training po kami. And pinag-aralan po namin, <laughs> pinag-aralan po namin yung, ano, yung Petrogas, lalo na itong si MJ, medals nila. And of course, yung setter talaga nila. Well, of course, um, preparation is key and part of preparation is eating the right food, <laughs> making sure you're fueled. But MJ, you're the team's uh, leading scorer. Um, if you didn't miss the games, actually, you would be running um, for MVP. But what's your mindset so far, you know, coming back from an injury and now trying to push for that final playoff push and you being one of the leaders of this team as well? Um, I honestly, it was a struggle in the beginning with my injury, but I just wanted to contribute any way possible for my team and help them, help us get to um, the championship again. So, whatever it takes, I'm willing to do. Right, let's go back to Mylene Ulet. No, you guys were sort of struggling with that three game losing streak. You had a good start to this All Filipino Conference, no? but of course, nahikita niyo naman yung bright spots, and I believe. Some of those, uh, or isa sa mga bright spots, yung bago yung addition na si Pauline Gaston. Can you talk about her impact, especially ikaw, Mylene, you've been with the team for quite a while now. Pero ngayon may bago kayong player. Kamusta yung pag-gel niya sa inyong team this conference? And paano siya nakakatulong sa inyo? Actually, si Pauline, isa siya sa, ano, sa player na nagpapasigla ng team namin. And yung pagkajali niya, talaga nakakatulong sa loob ng court. And of course, kahit na nasa bench man siya or nasa siya man yung gagamitin, lagi niyang finifeed yung bawat isa sa amin na, o oh, ate, ito po yung ano, naaral ko, yung ganito, ganyan. Ito po yung, ano, yung play ng uh, other team na kakalabanin namin ngayon. So parang nag, ano, nag -give, give and take kami ng mga um, feedbacks and also ng mga, ano, ng mga pinag-aaralan namin. So Pauline talaga is a uh, very, I, I think, ano, um, 
matalino, matalinong bata, masigla, and ayun, sobrang skillful din niya. And actually, MJ, you know, we had Chisa at here uh, just a couple of days ago, and she mentioned that you guys have a lot of veterans in your team, and you know, Ate Mylene actually said, give and take. What have the veterans been saying to you as well as one of the young players here um, for Petrogas, uh, MJ? Um, just got to work hard every single day, even when you're tired or you doubt yourself or you can't, you don't think you can do it anymore. Just got to keep pushing. It's part of the job and if you're hungry for it, you'll do anything. So that's just, they just keep motivating us. Well, definitely a game to watch out for. These two teams will try to fight for that final playoff um, push. And Atimai, MJ, thank you so much for the time and have a great time there in Iloilo. Good luck, guys.